<laughs> hey guys, so first of all, guys, wealth from what I what I'm studying, guys, is passed down from generation to generation, right? Wealth is understanding how to have assets and money and income and how to have a net worth. Okay? How to have income, producing cash cows. Okay? How to have a net worth and money. And you pass that same knowledge down to your children, right? So what I'm really understanding, guys, about building wealth is that most of us don't come from wealthy families. I don't. Not at all. Right? But it can be caught. Right? What does that mean? Right? Wealth really can't be taught. Even though I say <coughs> wealthy people teach their children how to be wealthy. But here's the thing. Wealthy parents are doing wealthy things. So they involve their children in wealthy things. So the children are actually learning because they're catching it. Right? Just like people that are broke, they teach their children broke things. Right? So, wealth is caught, not taught. One of my mentors said that. She said, wealth is caught, not taught. Right? It's because the people you are around and the places that you're going will you be able to expand here. Because wealth starts here. Right? You got to want to be wealthy. You got to want to build a legacy. You got to want to grow. And if not, if it ain't here first, guys you can't grow nothing like if you want to make 10 grand a month 10 grand a month gotta be here first you can't just say oh i want to make five grand a month i mean 10 grand a month and it ain't up here yet you used to making you make used to making 300 dollars a month now all of a sudden you want to go from 300 to 10,000 a month it got to be here first right that's why i want you guys to get the guide to prosperity click on the link below right get the guide to prosperity because it's a wealth building tool most people that come from a poverty household or poor household or a middle class don't know nothing about wealth. The wealth that we may know is we see Beyonce and Jay-Z and Nicki Minaj. You may think that's wealth, guys, but there's a lot of people who's wealthy that you wouldn't even hear their names. Okay? You won't even hear these people's names broadcasted. They're not even on a Fortune 500 list. Okay? It's like secret people. And they just, they're just wealthy, right? And they teach their generations of children. So, I'm saying this, guys, because passive, the more passive your income is, the less it's taxed, right? Because wealthy people get passive income, right? The more passive your income is, the less it's taxed. That's why people that are in real estate and building assets in real estate, and building residual income, meaning people paying their rent every single month, right? It's less taxed. Because now when you file your taxes, you go into a tax bracket and the government is categorized, uh, you know, as being passive, right? Employees are taxed at the highest bracket. Why? Because they're trading hours for dollars. And the tax laws, right, has nothing to do with employees. So the government just made up anything for them, right? Tax laws were made for business owners, people that started businesses. The government said, oh, we want to be able to get some of these people money. That's it, right? So employees are taxed at the highest level, which is 40%. Business owners are taxed between... Uh, 15 and 35 percent just depending on how much you made right so you got to understand wealth guys and this is why i talk about the guide to prosperity guys because it's a wealth building home study course see we don't learn wealth in school guys why why we don't learn wealth in school because we come from a middle class where our parents can only afford middle class schooling you know, if our parents could afford a million dollar education, we would have been in million dollar schools. Right? So we only know as much as we learn. Right? So if we don't learn more, then we can't do more. If we don't learn 
right? To break the chains of our self-imposed limitations, we will never grow. So this is why, guys, you got to get the guide to prosperity. Click on the link below. Get the guide to prosperity. Start reading it. Okay? Start reading this guide to prosperity. Get the hardcover book. Start reading it, guys. Right? Don't, oh, I'm going to just read it all in one day. No, it's a home study course. One section, you can take three months to study. It's studying wealth. So you can catch it. So you can now teach your children or start doing actions that's wealthy and your children will pick it up. See how this works? Right? People that are poor do poor actions and their kids pick it up. My mom used to always say, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke. I don't have money, I don't have money, I don't have money. So in my brain, as a kid, I'm like, well, I ain't got no money. Mom broke. That's all you hear. Right? And then my mom act like she was broke. We couldn't go nowhere. We was never really going anywhere. You know, we wasn't going out having fun, uh, you know, with just me and my mom and my brother. No. Right? So wealthy people do wealthy things. You see it. The kids see it. All right, guys? So get the book and start learning this stuff. See, it's here for us to take. It's here for us to tap into. It's here for us to get. It's here for us, guys, to win. This is why wealth is in books. Black people don't really read a lot of books, right? Even white people don't read a lot of books, right? It's in books. So now you really got to take the time and read this book. People don't want to do nothing but scroll on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube all day, right? People never say, well, let me start to study wealthy people. Let me start to really study Donald Trump. Let me start to study Bill Gates. Let me start to study Bob Duggan. Let me start to study Grant Cardone. Let me start to study Gary V. Let me start studying wealthy people. It just makes sense to me, right? So click on the link below, guys. Get your Guide to Prosperity book. You get the ebook and the hardcover, but I want you to get the hardcover because I want you to be able to pass this book down to the next generation. Guys, how many of you can say you have a wealth building tool that you can hand down generation after generation after generation to be able to build wealth? I know I can't say that, right? That's why I got the guide to prosperity. So now I can say that. My mom never gave me nothing and said, oh, this is going to help you build wealth. She ain't never sent no shit like that to me. Never. Ever. My grandmother either. Aunt, uncle, none of them. Ever. Cousins, nobody. Right? They don't know. Right? So when you know better, you do better, friends. So now you know better. Now you know you can be able to tap into wealth. You can be able to tap into uh, abundance and progress. You can be able to tap into this stuff. Is it a parking up there? Now you know you can now you know you can tap into this greatness. The only person that's going to stop you now from tapping into this greatness is you. The only person right now that can break the poverty cycle in your family from everybody living check to check is you. Changing your family's tree changing your family's legacy guys should be a priority make it one today so click the link below guys get the guide to prosperity see you soon